Today we're going to learn how to use the inverse trig functions on our decimal scientific calculator. Um, so how to use sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse is what our goal is. We use special functions called trig functions to take an angle of a triangle to find the side lengths. So on the previous lesson, you went ahead and saw this exact problem. Um, they asked you to find the side D. And in this case, side D is adjacent to angle 29 and 7.8 because it's across the right angle. It is the hypotenuse. So using SOHCAHTOA, sine, cosine, or tangent, we decide uh, which one it is. And in this case, adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So we use cosine to figure out what the length is of the side. Here, we are now doing the opposite. We're actually taking the side lengths, which are given, and we're trying to find what the angle is, which is not given. So notice that 8.6 and 9.9 .9 are both the sides of this right triangle, and now the angle is missing. Because this is the opposite operation, we will be using the inverse functions of each of the trig ratios that we saw before. Sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse, the negative one is not an exponent. It is a notation to tell us that, the, that these are the inverse functions. While the regular trig functions take angles as inputs, these inverse functions will always take the ratio of the sides as inputs. So remember, our goal now is to find the angles and not the sides. We can calculate the inverse trig values using a table or a calculator. Usually uh, with a scientific calculator, if you have one at home, you have to push a second button or a shift button first in order to get to the inverse functions. But like we did on a previous lesson, since not everybody has a scientific calculator at home or that it may be too hard to use, uh, we're gonna be using the decimal scientific calculator online um, as practice. So let's start with our first example. Here we have sine of A equals 0.5. Notice that they don't even give us a triangle to look at. We're just trying to figure out what letter A is. So we don't know the angle. A represents the angle. So we're going to go ahead and use the inverse trig functions in our Desmo scientific calculator. And the way we do that is we have to rewrite the original function where we're solving for A. And the way we do that is we take the sine inverse of both sides, sine will cancel out with the sine inverse, and we end up typing in sine inverse of 0.5, and we can evaluate this on our scientific calculator. So our solution, A equals 30 degrees. Again, we are rounding to the nearest degree. I'd like you to try one yourself on Desmos Scientific Calculator. Um, this one is sine of Z equals to 0.4848. I'm going to wait a little bit for you to go ahead and try this one out. You can also pause the video, but I did leave a couple of seconds in between.
All right, so we're trying to solve for z, the angle z in this case. So again, we re rewrite the equation solving for z um, in which we get sine inverse 0.4848 is what we're going to be plugging into our scientific calculator. Again, I'm using decimal scientific calculator in case you don't have a scientific calculator, I recommend using this one on, on the internet. So our solution is 29 degrees. Let's try another example. This one is using now cosine. Uh, cosine B equals to 0.667. So again, we don't know what the angle is. We're finding the angle B this time. So we're going to have to rewrite our function and we're going to be using the inverse trig function of cosine. So again, rewriting the equation, we end up with angle B equals cosine inverse of 0.667. And again, using our decimal scientific calculator, we're going to go ahead and plug that in. So again, our solution for angle B is 48 degrees. Once again, I'd like you to try another problem. This one is with cosine inverse. Uh, this one is cosine of W equals 0.6157. If you need more time, you can pause the video, but I'm going to give about 20 seconds. So go ahead and try this one out on the Desmos scientific calculator. Alrighty, so again, we're trying to solve for angle W in this case, so rewriting this function, we end up with W equals cosine inverse of 0.6157. So let's go ahead and use our decimal scientific calculator, and let's take a look. So again, our solution is 52 degrees. Let's try tangent next. So we haven't seen a tangent inverse one. So this is example number three, tangent of C equals 1.54. So again, we don't know what the angle is. In this case, we're looking for angle C. So we're going to use the tangent inverse function. 
we rewrite our function uh, for solving for c. c equals tangent inverse of 1.54. Um, let's go ahead and use our scientific calculator. So again, our solution for C is 57 degrees. Like before, I'd like you to try a tangent problem yourself. This one is tangent of V equals to 0.317. Again, if you need more time, you can press pause or you can just go ahead and wait the 20 seconds and try this yourself. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to go ahead and try that. Um, again, we're trying to solve for V in this case, angle V. So we're going to rewrite our function V equals tangent inverse of 0.317. Let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator like we've done before. So again, our solution is 18 degrees. Let's try this last one. This one is back to sine. So sine of D equals to 1.54. You will find that there's gonna be instances where your inverse solution is undefined and that's okay. Um, later on in math three, or if you're jumping to pre-calculus, you're gonna be learning um, the graphs of sine, cosine and tangent, and also, um, their reciprocal identities, which don't worry about it now. Um, later on, you're going to learn all this um, in Math 3 and in Pre-Calc, but you will know that the domain of sine and cosine um, is very dependent, obviously, on the numbers that are given. So there are instances where these numbers don't exist, so therefore it's undefined. Again, we'll talk more about that in the future if you're taking Math 3 or Pre-Calc. But for now, let's take a look at what that would look like on a graphing calculator. So again, we rewrite the function, d equals sine inverse of 1.54. And let's evaluate this on our calculator. So our solution, D equals to undefined, I abbreviate that to UND. That's pretty much today's lesson. I just want you to practice um, using the scientific calculator to find the inverse functions. We're going to be looking at triangles next. Uh, this will be tomorrow's lesson, or actually, no, Thursday's lesson. Today is Tuesday. 
um, and you're going to be evaluating for the angles of a right triangle. Just like you did the sides, now we're doing the angles, and this requires us to be really savvy on using the inverse functions of being sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse on our scientific calculator. So I'm going to leave a couple of problems for you to practice here on the Ed Puzzle multiple choice part of this. So make sure you do those multiple choice questions in order for this assignment to count as one of your assignments out of, you know, the ones you have to do in order to get your 10% increase or letter bump um, for quarter number four. Again, hopefully you're doing well. If you have questions, please ask me um, through Remind or you can also message me through Google Classroom or email me. Um, again, have a good day.